Good afternoon and welcome to our second edition of Geneva Life Sciences Startup Showcase. The first time was in November 2020. It was all done virtually, so it's nice to see a room full of people. I'll wave a bit to some of the people that are online, but uh, welcome. And uh, are there some of you for whom it's uh, the first time you're at Pongy. Okay, great. This is why we do do events. This is why our... Okay. Um, so, yes. Uh, My colleague Ingeborg is going to present that. Then we're going to also talk about the life sciences ecosystem with two big actors. We've got both BioAlps and the Swiss Biotech Association today to talk about the breadth and the intensity of this uh, industry. And then we're going to move over to the startup showcase with our exciting keynote um, about the three paradigm shifts that startups need to make if they're going to be successful. And for those that are here physically, 5.30, networking, so you can connect with other innovators, thought leaders, and um, scene makers. So I am not Antonio Gambardella. Um, Quick disclaimer, Antonio sends his um, apologies, but he has been called away for some urgent foundation business, and he can't be here now. So normally I'd introduce him, but in fact I have to introduce myself. Um, so I'm very happy to work at Forgy. I'm celebrating my 10 years of Forgy this year. So um, I'm going to start by telling you a bit about Forgy. So Fongite started in 1991, and one of our attendees, Wilma, where are you, Wilma? She's still having her coffee. She was <laughs> here on, on the day it started. So our story was that a Geneva entrepreneur in the 1970s set up his first company. He had failed because he was on his own. 
He tried again with his brother with the same result. They had the wrong business model. The third time was Lem, and this became a very big success. And when he took it to the stock exchange, he said, I want to create an organization that helps other innovators to avoid the mistakes I made and to accelerate their success. And 31 years later, that's exactly what we're doing by innovators, for innovators, transforming research into social and economic value. And here are some of the numbers. Um, over 1,300 jobs are uh, supported by the over 100 startups that we support. They've raised over 700 million over the last five years, and over 100 new products and patent groups. So depending on the angle you look at, um, it's clearly having impact. Last year, we were the, uh, our startups were the third largest creators of jobs in Geneva. So looking at startups, um, today we support 33 life sciences startups, 13 medtech, 11 biotech and pharma, as well as the 25 early stage projects that are our genius. And here are some of the logos that you, you may know, some successful exits like um, Anteis. You've got uh, also other startups. Some of them will present today. Some of them uh, you'll, you'll meet to other events. You also will have heard about the Fonds d'Innovation Fongite, which was uh, by the state of Geneva and Fongite to support um, financially researchers and startups and over the last uh, 18 months we've had 600,000 Swiss francs um, supporting those startups. A number of early stage projects before they're incorporated, so Fluorosphero, Hecatus, Hero Support, uh, Diateris, and then startups with the feed seed of 100,000. So. You'll know some names, Adipos, ABCDX, Eurosoft Bio, who are presenting today, and Arama VR. So you're also part of that success story, and we're really glad to welcome you here today. And our mission today was to try and bring all of the actors, from the IP lawyers to the investors to um, the ecosystem builders. So, it's actually, I have to go to events about uh, startup incubation. There are a few very good organizations um, that study this, but we're quite rare in Geneva because our founder wanted to provide full service support. The space is important, so you can meet and talk to other uh, innovators. But What's also important is the admin, because a company that's set up badly can never go right. And the time that can be spent getting the right account, the right insurance, getting correct governance. If you don't have your annual general meeting and your board meet minutes um, correctly done, you're not investable. Of course, the coaching, of which about a third is what not to do, and then another 40% is um, connecting the startups with all of the other um, solutions in the region and funding. Not only how to raise funds, but also um, the fifth. So I'm going to spend a bit of time on this slide because it's important to you and people you know. If you know a researcher that is connected to a Geneva based research institute, they haven't founded their company yet they can get a grant of 50,000, often in combination with something called the InnoGap, which is done by the University of Geneva. Then if it's a startup, 100,000 Swiss francs, uh, which should be fund matched in the form of a convertible loan, and then the scale-ups, um, a much larger sum. But this is, when you speak to startups, and even in Zurich, the startups there are saying this is what's missing and this is why um, this has been set up. And if you have questions, you can speak to Emmanuel at the back there about the fifth. So 
if you are a startup, if you are an investor, if you are an uh, enabler, these are the reasons why you want to come to Forgery. Because our startups say they're growing faster, they've avoided mistakes, and this is the home of world-class startups. And to tell you a bit more about what the impact and what's happening in the, uh, our innovation ecosystem over the last 12 months, my colleague in Ingeborg Albert, <coughs> who's innovation manager at Genius, will tell you some more. Ingeborg. Thank you. Thank you, James. Grab the switch on me. So, Geneva is rich in great research leading to great startups. And we have selected for you the top highlights of the past 12 months, starting with fundraising by Geneva based life sciences startups. So life science is actually the third export of the Canton of Geneva, so it's not surprising that we see strong traction in this field. Early sites, who develop a high-performance eye imaging instrument, empowering doctors to better Thank you. 